I almost didn't do the hello today. I wasn't really feeling it, but I did it anyway. It's really become just a shtick. Uh, so, uh, if, if, yeah, if you missed the last video, I mentioned it. Um, both my book, The Law of Attraction Simplified, and the book I edited of Emil Kuei's teachings, Simple Self-Healing, both those books should be uh, reduced to under a dollar or around a dollar, depending what country you're in, uh, today on Kindle. Um, so if you don't have those books and you like this channel, I strongly recommend that you check those books out because they're very helpful in terms of describing succinctly, because we're not always succinct on this channel, uh, describing succinctly the main ideas that we kind of hammer home again and again um, in these videos. So Law of Attraction Simplified and Simple Self-Healing, the link should be in the description below if you want to get those books and you don't already have them. Um, the other thing I want to mention before I forget is I think I'm going to talk with Cecilia later today. Uh, so look out for a new episode of Ex Neville Mod Explain Stuff. Um, Look out for a new conversation with Cecilia and me coming sometime this week in all likelihood. Uh, so yeah, with those matters out of the way, um, I thought I would expand a little bit upon what I mentioned last week. I'll link to the video that I did on it. Um, the video and the subject of connecting robotic affirming, robotic affirmations, meaning affirmations that we say over and over and over again often throughout the day for long periods of time meaning like 10 20 30 minutes or several hours sometimes in a row or several hours over the course of a day robotic affirmations the kind of affirmations that sammy ingram has really popularized uh recently the last couple of years even though it's something that's been around affirming something over and over and over again for as long as <laughs> probably humanity um so robotic affirmations, linking that with uh, mental dieting and specifically the seven-day mental diet of Emmett Fox. Now, um, we have a very, very extensive uh, mini course. It's, been, it's not even really a mini course. It's basically just a course, uh, course playlist on how to do the seven-day mental diet of Emmett Fox. I'll put that link in the description as well and I'll link to it above um, and the point of that video I did last week linking robotic affirmations with the seven day mental diet was just to show you um, or more more to clarify that there's a direct link between doing something like affirming for several hours like a lot of affirming each day for a short period of time and the seven day mental diet which is obviously a seven day diet um, both those things, in my opinion, are usually not sustainable for people. Um, you know, when you do Sammy Ingram style affirmations, you definitely do not have to affirm for hours and hours and hours and hours a day. You know, she herself says this can work very effectively if you just affirm quote unquote robotically or just over and over again, even if you don't feel great while you're doing it, um, for like 10 or 20 minutes a day, that can be enough if this is like the technique you want to use. But, um, you know, if you want to use it intensely to feel a real shift in your life quickly, you're much more likely to feel that shift or see an external demonstration or manifestation if you um, affirm more than just 10 or 20 minutes a day. You know, if you're affirming an hour or two or three or four or throughout the day. And doing this most people will tell you is pretty exhausting. You know, if you're affirming around the clock or affirming a, a real lot, silently or out loud, um, there's going to be a lot of resistance to doing that. There's going to be a lot of what the hell am I doing? This is crazy and stupid type thoughts coming through your head. So doing it for more than a couple days is difficult. And some people certainly do. Some people are really good at robotic affirming and just going and doing it for hours and hours and hours a day. But 
what I hear from a lot of clients, what I've experienced in my own life when I use robotic affirming is it tends to be more effective and fulfilling when you're doing it for hours and hours a day if it's for a short period of time, which is not unlike the seven-day mental diet. You know, Emmett Fox says in the seven-day mental diet, this is a seven-day diet for a reason. You couldn't do this every day for you know months on end or years on end without getting completely exhausted and it basically destroying you. Fox, to quote him, says, the whole idea is to have seven days of unbroken mental discipline in order to get the mind definitely bent in a new direction once and for all. That's the point of those seven days. And Fox is very explicit. He says these seven days are not going to be easy. This is not mental diet the way Emmett Fox is talking about. Not an easy thing to do. And again, we have a very extensive uh, course playlist of how to do the mental diet. If you if you're you know if you've never done it before, I, I really suggest looking at that if you're interested in doing a seven day mental diet. But what's interesting is when you're affirming around the clock or affirming a real lot, it's similar to this. At least I've found experientially. And, you know, just talking to people and their, you know, clients who have had experiences with the seven-day mental diet and clients who have had experiences with affirming, like a lot. This quote, you know, that I just read, it really hits on something. The idea... And, you know, in Fox's seven days, and I said the other day, and I, I still, I'll stand by this. If you affirm around the clock or affirming for hours and hours and hours on end and don't allow yourself to dwell on negative thoughts, which are against your statement or your affirmation, I don't even think you have to do it for seven days. I think you can do, do it for a couple days, two or three days, and you're going to really feel a shift and likely see some demonstration of that shift externally in your life because it's hard to do and it shifts something. So, the quote, the idea is to have, you know, Fox says seven days. I'm telling you here, if you do active affirming or robotic affirming, it might not even have to be that long. A short period of time, a matter of days of unbroken mental discipline in order to get the mind definitely bent in a new direction once and for all. So in other words, it's about short-term pain and during the short-term pain, for long-term gain. We've heard that in plenty of places before. And that's what both these techniques remind me of, at least robotic affirming when we're doing it a lot. Again, robotic affirming can be much more relaxed. You're taking a walk, you're doing the dishes, you're just doing it 10, 20 minutes a day or whatever. It can be much more chill than this. But if you're really trying to bend you know, the direction of your life, or as some people would say, create a new reality, change reality, shift reality, Shift timelines. Don't get me started with that. But if you really want to feel a shift in your life in a short period of time, you can do the seven-day mental diet or another very effective tool is affirming like all heck for hours and hours on end for a couple days or longer, maybe for like a week. And the other key if you're doing that kind of affirming is the hours when you're not affirming to not dwell on negative thoughts against the affirmation. So in other words, if you are affirming for, let's give the cliche example, an SP, right? Which I strongly recommend you do not affirm for a specific SP, okay? In case you don't know that. Like I strongly recommend that you would affirm for love or a healthier relationship or healthier relationships in general, right? So let's say you're doing that, right? You're affirming that like there's more love in my life. I'm going to meet a, or like, you know, I'm, I'm in a loving relationship. Let's say that's your affirmation. And maybe you have a couple affirmations like that, but they all point at the same thing, which is a loving relationship, right? And maybe, you know, the affirmation is I'm in a loving relationship now, or I'm about to be in a loving relationship. I'm going to be in a loving relationship. It can be any of those things. The wording doesn't matter. It's how it makes you feel. This affirmation, the point of is of it is is making you feel like you're going to be or are about to be or already are in a loving relationship. So you're affirming this over and over again, over and over and over and over and over again for hours a day. You know, I'm now in a loving relationship. This is working. I'm now in a loving relationship. I'm now in a loving relationship. I'm now in a loving relationship. 
So you can be doing this for hours and hours a day. But the other hours a day when you're not doing it, the thoughts might come in. You're not in a loving relationship. You're not going to be in a loving relationship. This is crazy. When that those thoughts come in, you cannot dwell on them. You have to knock them away. You can't be reactive towards them. That's what the seven-day mental diet is all about. You're going to have negative thoughts. Fox says all day long some days, right? When you're doing the seven-day mental diet. But you do not react to them. Do you know? Like the like the little ember of uh, from the fire that gets on your shirt. You just take knock it off your shirt before it creates a hole. And it's the same thing if you're using robotic affirming. So you're affirming something you want, but when you're not affirming something you want, you don't dwell on what you don't want. So I'm now in a loving relationship, right? Let's say you affirm that for an hour in the morning, and then you affirm it later, later in the middle of the day. But you know, in the afternoon, you start getting all these thoughts. You're not in a loving relationship. This is going to do nothing. You're crazy for doing this. You just don't, you don't react to that stuff. You notice they're there and you don't react to them. You don't react to them. And if you want to, when you notice it, you can immediately start, start affirming to yourself, I'm now in a loving relationship over and over and over again. Because that's one way of not reacting to the negative resistance telling you otherwise. The negative thoughts. If you state your affirmation, your positive affirmation, you're not dwelling in the negativity. The negativity can be there. You can feel it. You can feel that resistance. All those resistant thoughts telling you that you're full of shit and this isn't going to work. But you can still affirm what you want. I'm now in a loving relationship. I'm now in a loving relationship. I'm now in a loving relationship. If you do this for a couple days, you know, affirm something like I'm now in a loving relationship. And you, again, you do not have to do it for a couple hours a day or more. You can do it for a half an hour in the morning and a half an hour in the evening. If the rest of the day you're just not reacting, dwelling reactively, reactively, I should say, to your thoughts, right? As long as you're not dwelling reactively to your thoughts, you're fine. So it, you don't have to affirm around the clock. And that's, again, why these two things complement each other well. But if you do find negative thoughts coming in, one way to not dwell on them reactively and just let them be there and then let them naturally pass is to state your affirmation. I'm now in a loving relationship. I'm now in a loving relationship. I'm now in a loving relationship. Right? So, I mean, honestly, another way to do this is, is to not even be like, well, I'm going to affirm a certain amount of hours a day. You can just affirm when you notice negative thoughts there. Because there's going to be negative thoughts. There's going to probably be a lot of negative thoughts. When you notice the negative thoughts, you can start affirming. And you might end up affirming for hours and hours and hours, even if you didn't plan to do that. I hope this makes sense. I'm talking fast. But uh, it, it, it does make sense. If you listen again, it will, you'll realize it makes sense. Um, yeah. I mean, I like robotic affirming, active affirming, whatever you want to call it. I like it, you know, for a leisurely activity when, you know, you don't feel pressure, you don't feel a lot of resistance. And I like it for when you do feel pressure and resistance and, and like you don't know what will work, you know, like a seven day mental diet, which I also really like. If you just keep on affirming something and don't allow yourself to dwell in the negative thoughts, but instead, you know, keep on saying what you do want either out loud or to yourself it's going to shift things it's going to bend the direction of your life it's going to shift your reality again let me read this fox quote from the seven day mental diet the whole idea is to have seven days of unbroken mental discipline in order to get the mind definitely bent in a new direction once and for all once the mind is bent in a new direction you don't have to continue to do this the change will have happened. You might have to affirm some, right, about the subject a little bit, but it's different. You'll feel the shift. The shift will have occurred. Short-term pain for long-term gain. Okay? Helpful. You know, makes sense. Should make sense. As always, if you want to go deeper with this stuff, if you need help with this stuff, because there's not many people who are actually going to help you when it comes to this nitty-gritty short-term pain. Uh, nobody talks about, wants to talk about short-term pain when it comes to manifesting, which is in reality what it's about a lot of the time. If you want to help dealing with the short-term pain and help actualizing the long-term gain, I'm here to help you. One-on-one -on -one coaching. Individual sessions. 
even if I have availability, immersive programs, 30 days with me working one-on-one, for instance, to change your life. Short-term pain, long-term gain. Remember that when you're doing a technique or an approach like robotic affirming or the seven-day mental diet. You can do it, you know, short-term. You don't have to do it long-term. You can do it short-term and you will see positive effects. So I hope that was helpful. For coaching, I can be reached at RadicalCounselor.com.